night, just finished up my pond diffuser. Run strictly off solar, so I'm gonna walk you through this and show you what I got. And I saved about $2,500 doing it myself compared to buying it through one of those uh, pond magazines. I've got two 100 watt solar panels. Got these from Harbor Freight. They're just over a hundred bucks a piece. A little plastic deck storage unit was at Meyer. I think that was around $40 for the storage unit. That housed everything I needed. Both of these solar panels are connected in parallel. So I get 200 watts still at 12 volts. They combine right here in this little box. It's a weatherproof box. Two wires come out, positive, negative. That's 200 watts running down into the cabinet. Power comes in and goes right to the solar controller. That does a couple things. It charges your battery and it powers my power inverter, which powers the air pump. And it has a timer system also, where when the battery gets down to a certain level, it'll just shut off. So it's running strictly on solar right now while it's charging the battery up. So when the sun comes out, power comes in, goes through the controller, right into the power converter, 225 watt power inverter. And my air pump is plugged directly into that and that powers it. This pump is a Metalla 60 liter pump. All this stuff was purchased off of Amazon. I'll have the link below that shows where I got this information from. That deep cycle battery was actually a used battery out of my cabin. It doesn't do a whole lot for this system other than it runs the charge controller. And it does give you a few extra hours in the evening when the sun goes down. Its main purpose is just to uh, run the solar charge controller. For the air hose, I just used a 100 foot standard garden hose that you pick up at any of your stores. It's got a uh, three quarter fitting on the end, which is down in the pond. And it just uses a simple connector with some hose clamps. Lot cheaper than buying a weighted air hose that they always recommend. I ran that hose through a piece of PVC pipe just down to the edge of the pond. From there I have it weighted with some bottles full of sand. It goes out, it's about 15 to 18 foot deep. You can see that she's bubbling pretty good out there today. We got full sun. Weighted air hoses definitely make it easier, but they were $150 on Amazon. I paid $30 for a garden hose, so I saved well over $100 doing that. For ventilation in the uh, cabinet, I put some little soffit vents around it. I am planning on putting a small little fan on the back side down below probably use one of those computer fans that I have laying around and I'll probably hook it up to a separate little solar panel that way it, uh, it's self-powered can run all day long and not affect the pond aeration system. A frame for holding my solar panels is just a 4x4 post, a couple pieces of 2x4 piece of 4x4 I had laying around here at the cabin. I have it set 35 degrees for my location, which is a year-round angle. You could make it adjustable and move it two to four times a year, but this is the uh, easiest way to do it if you don't want to with it. You can find that angle on Google by typing in your location.